Welcome to Today in Nerd History. Happy St. Patrick's Day. St. Patrick's Day, or the Feast of St. Patrick, is a cultural and celebration held on March 17th, the traditional death date of St. Patrick, the foremost patron saint of Ireland. The day commemorates St. Patrick and celebrates the heritage of culture of Irish in general. Celebrations generally involve public parades and festivals and the wearing of green attire or shamrocks. The Star Trek The Next Generation episode Sins of the Father aired March 17, 1990. In this episode, a Klingon commander comes aboard the Enterprise in an officer exchange program initiated by Starfleet, much to the chagrin of the Enterprise crew. <coughs> Happy birthday, Kurt Russell, born March 17, 1951. Kurt Vogel Russell is an American actor. His first roles were as a child in TV series, including a lead role in the Western series The Travels of Jamie McFeeters. In the 1970s, he signed a 10-year contract with the Walt Disney Company. In 1984, for his performance in Silkwood, he was nominated for a Golden Globe Award for Best Performance by an Actor in a Supporting Role in a Motion Picture. During the 1980s, he was cast in several movies by director John Carpenter, including Snake Plissken and Escape from New York, and its 1996 sequel, Escape from L.A. Antarctic helicopter pilot R.J. McReady in the horror film The Thing and truck driver Jack Burton in Big Trouble in Little China. He was nominated for an Emmy Award for the TV movie Elvis, also directed by Carpenter. He was also in Stargate, Miracle, Poseidon, the Death Proof segment of Grindhouse, and in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, he played Ego, the Living Planet. Remembering Matt King Cole, born March 17, 1919, and passed away February 15, 1965. Nathaniel Adams Coles, professionally known as Matt King Cole, was an American singer, jazz pianist, and actor. He recorded over 100 songs that became hits on the pop charts. His trio was the model for small jazz ensembles that followed. Cole also acted in movies and on TV and performed on Broadway. He was the first African-American man to host an American TV series. He was the father of singer-songwriter Natalie Cole. He passed away from cancer. Happy birthday, Gary Sinise, born March 17, 1955. Gary Allen Sinise is an American actor, director, musician, producer, and philanthropist. Among other awards, he has won an Emmy Award, a Golden Globe Award, a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and was nominated for an Academy Award. He first starred in a movie when he directed, produced, and played George Milton in Of Mice and Men. His subsequent roles include Lieutenant Dan Taylor in Forrest Gump, for which he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, Harry S. Truman in Truman, for which he won a Golden Globe, Ken Manningly in Apollo 13, and Detective Jimmy Shaker in Ransom, and was in the movies The Green Mile and Imposter. On TV, he played Detective Mac Taylor in the CSI New York series, Sid in Frasier, and George C. Wallace in the TV movie George Wallace, for which he won an Emmy. Other noteworthy movies include Reindeer Games, which is a really good movie, Snake Eyes, Mission to Mars, and The Stand. He narrated the audiobooks for John Steinbeck's Travels with Charlie. From 2016 to 2017, he starred as Special Agent Jack Garrett in Criminal Minds Beyond Borders. He is a supporter of various veteran organizations and founded the Lieutenant Dan Band, who play at military bases around the world. 
Happy birthday, Patrick Duffy, born March 17th, 1949. Patrick George Duffy is an American actor best known for his role on Dallas, where he played Bobby Ewing from 1978 to 1985 and from 1986 to 1991. He returned to reprise the role as Bobby in a continuation of Dallas, which aired on TNT from 2012 to 2014. In 1977, he played Mark Harris in the TV series Man from Atlantis. He is also well known for his role on Step by Step as Frank Lambert from 1991 to 1998 and for his role as Stephen Logan on The Bold and the Beautiful. He also played the lead character's father in Welcome to Sweden. Happy Birthday, Rob Lowe. Born March 17, 1964, Robert Helper Lowe is an American actor, producer, and director. He is the recipient of two Screen Actors Guild Awards and has been nominated for six Golden Globe Awards and a Primetime Emmy Award. He made his acting debut at the age of 15 with ABC's sitcom A New Kind of Family. Following several TV roles in the early 1980s, he was in the movies The Outsiders, Class, The Hotel New Hampshire, Oxford Blues, St. Elmo's Fire, About Last Night, Square Dance, and on TV in The Stand, Salem's Lot, The West Wing, Brothers and Sisters, Parks and Recreation, Code Black, and 911 Lone Star. In 2018, he made his directorial debut with the TV movie The Bad Seed, a remake of the 1956 movie of the same name. Happy birthday, Tania Lamani. Born March 17, 1945. She played Kara in the Star Trek episode Wolf in the Fold. She was born in Iran to Russian parents. When she was 12 years old, her family came to America, where she began her career with a classical ballet dance troupe. But when she traveled to Las Vegas in search of more work, she was offered a job as a belly dancer, not a ballet dancer. She ultimately got her own show in Vegas, as well as offers to dance on TV and in movies. One of her earliest film appearances came in 1964 comedy A Global Affair. She went on to appear in such movies as Dead Heat on a Merry-Go-Round and Gambit in 1966. She also had a supporting role in To Hell with Heroes. In total, she had roles in nearly 20 films. On TV, she has appeared on The Man from Uncle, I Dream of Jeannie, Get Smart, McHale's Navy, It Takes a Thief, and The Flying Nun, among others. In addition, she has performed in dozens of stage productions. She speaks English, Russian, and Persian fluently. She also knows some Spanish, Armenian, Ukrainian, and Italian. She has also produced her own belly dancing video, Belly Size with Tanya. <laughs> Happy birthday, Patty Maloney, born March 17, 1936. She is the actress who played the little woman in the Star Trek Voyager episode, The Fall. Hailing from Perkinsville, New York, she is one of the few actors to have worked in both the Star Trek and Star Wars universes, having also played Chewbacca's son, Lumpy, in the Star Wars Holiday Special. She has also been credited as the android Tina, in three episodes of the series Buck Rogers in the 25th Century. Happy birthday, John Boyega, born March 17, 1992. He is an English actor known for playing Finn in Star Wars The Force Awakens and its sequels Star Wars The Last Jedi and The Rise of Skywalker. He was in Attack the Block, Detroit, Pacific Rim Uprising, four episodes of the TV series 24, Live Another Day, and the drama Imperial Dreams, and has received the BAFTA Rising Star Award in 2016. <laughs> Remembering Bridget Helm, born March 17, 1908, 
and passed away June 11th, 1996. She was a German actress best remembered for her dual role as Maria and her double, the Machine Mensch, in the 1927 silent film Metropolis. After Metropolis, she made over 30 other movies, including some talking pictures, before retiring in 1935. Her other appearances include The Love of Jenny Nay, All Ron, Largent, Gloria, The Blue Danube, Elantide, and Gold. Happy birthday, Lisa Colleen Sims. Born March 17th, 1963. Elizabeth Caroline Sims, credited as Lee's Sims, is an American actress, singer, designer, and dancer. She was the host of Style Network's Area and had a recurring role on Sunset Beach, but is best known for her role as Barbara Diffie, Phil's mom, in the Disney Channel original series Phil of the Future, where she also played a timekeeper in the episode, It's a wonder Phil Life. <laughs> she had a reoccurring role as Connie Wayne on The Young and the Restless and made a guest appearances on Friends, Providence, Mad TV, Third Rock from the Sun, Star Trek Voyager, iCarly, and many others. She performed for President Reagan in 1988's Great Performances at the White House series which aired on the Public Broadcasting Service. Happy Birthday, Michael Lee Ivins. Born March 17, 1963. He is the co-founder and bass player of the music band The Flaming Lips, where he wrote and performed several songs for movies like Bad Day for Batman Forever, SpongeBob and Patrick Confront the Psychic Wall of Energy, for the Spongebob Squarepants movie, and The Supreme Being Teaches Spider-Man How to Love for Spider-Man 3, and appeared in several documentaries such as Fearless Freaks and UFOs at the Zoo, The Flaming Lips Live in Oklahoma City. The Flaming Lips has released 11 albums, several singles, and DVDs. He played an Orpheus Colony Miner in the Star Trek Enterprise episode, Demon, he received no credit for this cameo role. Happy Birthday, Gary Riotto. Born March 17, 1970. He played an illusionary alien in the Star Trek Enterprise episode, Vanishing Point. Well, that's it for today, folks. I appreciate you listening, and uh, if you enjoyed the show, please feel free to tell your friends about uh, little old me here. Have a wonderful day.